Good afternoon, everyone. I am extremely nervous, <laughs> so. <laughs> I just wanna say, it is an honor to be standing here in front of all you this evening and to speak on behalf of the 2015 graduating bridge class. Long Beach, Boyle Heights, <laughs> and Culver City, we made it. So soak in this moment. Nine months ago, I was lost. I had been in community college for a while and lost sight of my goals. At a young age, I have always dreamed of being on the radio, talking to people through a microphone and making them laugh. I would say something like, Yo, 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 this is DJ Laney J on the ones and twos making your morning the best morning you ever had. <laughs> I also wanted to be a therapist to guide people through their problems and help find possible solutions. I figured I could combine both dream careers and reach a wider audience. My plan to go to school, further my knowledge so that I can help, help better equip the people that I want to help but my plan to go to a four-year college didn't work out. So I decided to go to community college instead. There, I discovered I was nothing but a number. My classes were so big, it was hard to focus, and when I needed help, I could barely get my teacher's attention. I had begun to lose my voice because there, I didn't matter. I started to feel like I wasn't good enough to complete my classes, and I began to doubt my chances of being successful. I wasn't motivated to do great things or to even take any further action. It was like I was stuck, yet time never stopped. I had simply fallen out of love with education. When I came into the bridge program, a flame had lit inside of me and it was burning. I knew the first day of class that this program was meant for me mainly because we had pizza the first day of class. <laughs> I like pizza. <laughs> and chicken, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but peers from different backgrounds and cultures surrounded me. I was listening to different perspectives and ideals that I had never heard before. We became a community of people that respected each other. I have been motivated to embrace my culture and to be proud of where I came from and to be excited for where I am going. In the bridge program, I have learned that every answer isn't the only answer and we don't have to accept his story, but be encouraged to find other stories that have not yet been told. We as a class have grown to be better thinkers and doers for our community. We were taught to put ourselves aside in order to see someone else's needs. We picked the brains of great philosophers like Socrates and Plato. We learned to ask better questions and create our own answers. We were inspired to value the art around us because it's not just a picture on the wall, but the story of that person's ideals, beliefs, and cultures, and how it can help impact society. I want to thank the creative writing class for teaching us to find our own voice. Through personal narrative, we were able to captivate the most intimate moments of our life and look at them as stepping stones to victory. I saw the importance of education because the more I learned, the more I felt myself growing spiritually and mentally. I wasn't the same person I was when I first started the program, and we, the bridge class, are not the same people who came into the bridge program nine months ago. Antioch University has changed my perception of the school system because here, I matter. My goals matter and my dreams matter. You have activated my hunger for knowledge and wisdom, inspiring me to plan my future and become a better individual. I wanna thank the teachers of the Bridge Program in all three sites, Long Beach, Boyle Heights, and Culver City, because if it had not been for you, we would not have taken so much out of this experience. As a student, many teachers and educa educators will pass through our lives without remembrance. Yet a special fruit few will have a lasting impression. Thank you for being one of those special educators who will live on forever in our minds and hearts.
To all the TAs, thank you for your time and wisdom. You have been a great example for us and we truly appreciate it. Being in the Bridge Pro Program has taught us that hard work and motivation can allow us to be and do anything we set our eyes on. No is never an option because we can break down any door that stands in our way or just creep through the side window. <laughs> we are forever grateful for our experience here at Antioch because we have been in the midst of successful leaders and visionaries. On behalf of my classmates, I can say we have truly grown together. Although some days were tough and we may have felt like we weren't gonna make it, what's most important is that we did not quit. And for that, we are here in this moment. To the Bridge Class of 2015 and to everyone in this auditorium, I encourage you to be the best version of yourself. You don't have to accept the conditions that you are in. I once felt like my life wasn't going anywhere and I was willing to accept those terms. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to be stuck in your situation. A setback is a setup for a great comeback and when you rise, you'll be stronger than ever. Pass on the knowledge that you took away from these classes because the world needs it more than ever. As Nelson Mandela has said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Be the bridge for others around you. You are strong enough to fight any obstacle that stands in your way and lift others in their time of need. Every person in this room can be a link of greatness to someone else. What is life if you're not impacting yourself and those around you? Time is li limited, so spend it wisely. In the words of the legendary Maya Angelou, the horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change. When we walk out of these doors, let's make some change. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2015. Thank you.